Hi, welcome to another Tarot and Oracle review. Today I'm bringing you this amazing 2020 Oracle deck by Amanda Lovelace and artwork by this new illustrator of Oracle decks, her first one. She's called Janina Medeiros. So, believe in your own magic, based on a poetry series by Amanda Lovelace. So, it's a small deck, but it's absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love the artwork, as, as well as the meaning of the cards. So, you use your piece of paper. So, you've got the cards, and you have a card book. that Sometimes it's a bit challenging to get this book out of the box, for some reason. <laughs> but it's got lovely little gold writing on it if you can catch that um within there we are slight gold embossing on the book so it's got a humor and each page has got an explanation of each card which is absolutely great in the front it's just got an introduction and also what's the difference between i love this page um, aren't tarot cards and oracle cards evil? No. So a lot of people have weird ideas, which is absolutely fine. And she demonstrates that you can ask this oracle deck any question that you like, as long as it's um, in the vein of, will I fail my upcoming exam? And she recommends you go how can I best prepare for my upcoming exam which is absolutely fine um, to do so so that's a little oracle book and these are the beautiful amazing cards of that high so you're going to fall in love with these absolutely so this is number one is princess you could be your own knight which is on the front of the deck like that so they are based on fairy tale characters and just a great deck for empowering women really so evil queen you deserve sugar not salt so that's great when we're handed out certain things we all need salt as well but not too much tower unplug and relax for a spell I think the sense of humour with these cards, along with the meanings and the artwork, is just absolutely incredible. Mirror. Treat your body like the palace it is. Stars. You can manifest your every wish. Absolutely. Why not? Just try. And I absolutely adore this card. Accept the meaning. Um, so it's dragons and it says slay them all don't go killing dragons dragons are special <laughs> but there you've got your women um, slightly injured but willing to face her thoughts hence dragons sword make the change wings you never needed those wings to fly. Insinuating that you can fly without wings. Not literally, but... Phoenix, how's that for a happily ever after? Absolutely. Great cards indeed. Red, forgiveness. Eleven, sun. Paint the sun back into your sky. I love that. How great is that? Expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval. Uh, lioness. You've earned all your stripes. Thorns. Weave together the crown you deserve. Absolutely gorgeous, working as a team. Garden. Something lovely will grow from this. New beginnings. 
planting the seeds of hope and desire, new beginnings. Bitch fire. Stand up for yourself. Flower. Be honest with yourself. Sometimes paying attention to your intuition, um, you already know what's going on within your life if you just tune in. So sometimes that honesty is important. Three, let them go. And then we have lavender. Surround yourself with love. Couldn't agree more, could you? Beautiful. All these great cards. Beautiful. Lighthouse. Don't doubt your worth. And it isn't a hair. Stunning. Clover. Release your guilt. Library. Take control of your own narrative. Sometimes we listen to those uh, thoughts, which is self-doubt and negativity. Confidence. It comes with time and practice. Potion. Remember to practice self-love. One of the most important aspects of life. And there's a crown on the back. Mural. Be your own first priority. Told as a kid, don't draw on walls, but it's quite fun, isn't it? Feather. Think first before you judge. Which justice is coming. I love this illustration. On one side is, and then on the other side is... <laughs> Brilliant, absolutely fabulous interpretation of that card. Love it. Protest, start a revolution. Feast, slow down and celebrate yourself. Castle, it's time for healing, not war. Universe, we're all just stardust. Escapist, come home to yourself. Nostalgia, focus on the here and now. There's a little mermaid sitting with her friends. Voyage. You'll already have all the answers. Isn't that great? Shark. Swim away from this situation. Gold. You don't need someone else to fix you. Grey. Endings are inevitable. Villain, you can always rewrite the story. Raindrops, take a chance on them. Forty, morning, the world awaits you. Sorry, it's a little bit thick. There we are. Sundress, do it for you. Everyone looks forward to summer and wearing those lovely flimsy outfits. So even if it's winter. <laughs> Homeward, take yourself out on a date. I love that. Spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. Storm, every hurricane comes to an end. And this is on the back of the box, this card, your, is it? Oh no, maybe the book. Uh, throne, your potential is endless. And you see the three princesses 
um, in many fairy tales, sitting there. You've got your princess, your witch and your mermaid. So which one are we going to be today? So I think this is an amazing, powerful oracle deck um, to, to co kind of coincide with our feminine side of how in, in fairy tales the heroine has always been the flimsy little person. And that's why I love this card, Be Your Own Knight. So it's very important to um, really go through that deck every single day perhaps and really empower yourself especially with the self-love oracle uh, card in there so hopefully you'll really love them believe in your own magic what a great statement indeed and that's the pack for yourself thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time lots of love